Elon Musk is aiming for a jaw-dropping spectacle on the upcoming SpaceX Starship launches, catching both stages of the colossal rocket with the innovative chopstick mechanism. Picture the scene. Two massive rocket stages gracefully snatched from the sky, a feat that rivals the most epic moments in sci-fi cinema and leaves competitors in awe. But why does SpaceX opt for this instead of traditional landing legs? What challenges does SpaceX face in perfecting this ambitious maneuver after Starship's initial launches? Let's get into the details and more in today's episode of SpaceX Flight. But before we get in, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss another episode. And with that, let's dive right in. Since its maiden flight in April last year, Starship has been on a roller coaster journey of evolution and innovation. SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection has led to a series of remarkable milestones, from refining flight hardware to fine-tuning ground infrastructure and learning from past mistakes. These efforts have borne fruit, with achievements ranging from flawless stage separation to attaining orbital velocity and conducting propellant transfers in space. Yet, SpaceX's ultimate goal of achieving full reusability for Starship remains on the horizon, and the next crucial step involves mastering the art of landing the vehicle for swift relaunch. Enter the daring plan to catch both stages using the launch tower, a move that has sparked curiosity and raised eyebrows. But why this unconventional method? And what does SpaceX hope to achieve by embracing such audacious tactics? One of the primary drivers behind this unconventional approach is the relentless pursuit of weight reduction. In the realm of rocketry, Every ounce saved translates to additional payload capacity, crucial for broadening humanity's access to space. The sheer size and weight of traditional landing legs pose practical challenges, pushing beyond feasible limits. Moreover, embracing mid-air catches offers a significant boost in operational efficiency. Starship isn't just aiming for reusability, it's aiming for rapid reusability. Conventional landing legs require elaborate setups involving cranes and other equipment, introducing unnecessary complexity and causing delays between launches. By ditching the landing legs and opting for mid-air catches, SpaceX streamlines the process, swiftly returning the booster to the launch mount for its next mission. Finally, Elon Musk's penchant for simplification shines through in Starship's design, particularly evident in the grid fins. Initially conceived to fold like those on the Falcon 9, SpaceX opted for a bold move by keeping the grid fins fixed in position. This ingenious decision eliminates the complexity of a folding and unfolding mechanism, streamlining the spacecraft's design and bolstering its reliability. When will SpaceX embark on this thrilling endeavor? The upcoming fourth launch, while exciting, may not be the opportune moment. Perfecting the ocean landing for both stages is a priority before attempting to land them back on the launch mount. Any mishap during this critical phase could potentially damage or even obliterate the launch tower an outcome SpaceX cannot afford, especially with the pressing deadline to deliver the lander for the Artemis moon missions. The fifth and sixth flights emerge as more feasible options, given SpaceX's anticipated successful ocean landings by then. The super-heavy booster of Starship marks a significant departure from the Falcon 9 booster in numerous aspects. It's not just a matter of relying solely on previous experience, as Starship introduces a plethora of innovations. From its distinct fuel composition to its novel engine design and even its unique method of fuel delivery, Starship pushes the boundaries of rocket technology. Take, for instance, the engines. While Merlin engines operate on a simple open cycle with a single turbo pump assembly, Raptor engines utilize a full flow stage combustion cycle with two turbo pump assemblies and a far more intricate internal structure. The demands on these engines are starkly different with Raptors needing 6.5 bar of pressure for optimal performance compared to the 3.5 bar required by Merlin engines. Such distinctions underscore the groundbreaking nature of Starship's design and its departure from conventional rocketry. Overall, SpaceX will always persevere no matter what, as evidenced by their rapid progress over the last year, reaching never-before-seen milestones and ambitions for interplanetary travel and colonization. Starship represents a bold step forward in humanity's quest for the stars. That's all for today's episode. We really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please share your thoughts with us in the comment box below. We value your input, and it helps us create better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.